Hello everyone, um, I'm back again here with the uh, Google Pixel 3a XL or extra large. I also have another Google Pixel. This is a 3a smaller. Both of these are running um, Droidian, as you can see. Uh, today I'm going to show you or tell you some of the things that don't work or uh, some of the things don't work at all and some of the things kind of work um, and this is for both models okay doesn't matter uh, which one so I think I mentioned this in the first video the first thing that doesn't work on or at least on the pixel on Droidian at least on most of the Linux OS's except for Ubuntu touch is the camera the camera just, right now, there's no support for it. It would just stay like that or would crash or nothing would open, um, which is slightly of a disadvantage right now because it does have a fairly nice camera, you know. Sorry, I'm just, let me close it again. Same thing with the flashlight. It has, it just doesn't work at all. Um, another thing that kind of works um, is the battery and, and what I mean is it has come along a long way now um, battery life at least on this on the extra large um, I managed to get anywhere from 8 to 12 hours um, when the phone is on sleep um, which is pretty good Compared to other phones, uh, especially the Pine Phone Pro that I have as well, um, and and the reason why it only lasts this long is so it doesn't go into deep suspend, um, and, f and because of that, um, it can't save that much battery. It actually goes into which is S to idle. Or suspend to idle um, which in a way is a little bit better because the phone is still somewhat on and you can still receive messages calls and stuff like that instead if it goes into deep suspend um, it, it basically everything shuts down um, and you can't get any calls or, or messages or texts or notifications so on so in a way it's good um, like I said, it has come a long way. Before I used to get 5 hours, now I get 12. So it's coming along. Uh, hopefully this will keep improving. Um, I noticed it has improved in the last, last few updates, really. So within a month or two, it has gotten much better. So this year has been fairly good for this phone. Um, another thing that I wouldn't say doesn't work or kind of works is the mobile uh, data. So some SIM cards, um, it works right off the bat. Some other ones you have to pre-configure. In my case, I'm in the UK and I have three mobiles. So if you put the SIM card and we restart the phone, you can get text messages and calls, but there will be no internet. So the way to do to fix that is you come into advanced networks you want to add a new connection. Let me flip that so it's a little bit better. Um, mobile broadband. You want to create it. I don't know if you can see that very well. Essentially, you want to go next. You want to select your country. In my case, I'm in the United Kingdom. Three is my my provider, like I, like I said, and then it says here select your internet plan. In my case, internet or handset, both of them works fine. So I'm gonna leave it with internet, and you want to apply it, and then you're gonna get this window, which is a little bit uh, very small right now. Let me zoom it up. But essentially, it's a little bit too blurry. There we go. Essentially, what I want is to have that plus ninety nine hash on my settings. Mine doesn't require any username or password. 
So I'm going to save it. This is very small. So, oh, there we go. It did save. So it's here. So next time, put the SIM card and you, I reboot the phone. I mean, I don't have a SIM card now. I can eventually come here to mobile network, you know, I'll enable it. And then it will show up here, three internet. Sounds a little bit of a long way, but it does work. Some carriers, uh, this method doesn't work, especially in the US. Um, you might have to tweak it a different way. Um, but for the most part, most of them work, I would say. Uh, there are all, There's always exception. Another thing that doesn't work, um, which it does work on Ubuntu Touch, and I think it's the only one that does work with, is a fingerprint. Um, I wish it did. Fingerprint also does not work on the PinePhone Pro. I did buy here, uh, let me show you, the case with a finger, fingerprint. But right now there's no support. So hopefully that's coming along soon. Um, another thing that doesn't work, well, it's not that it doesn't work, but there's no support for it on all Pixel phones, is video through USB-C, uh, which is kind of a shame, because the phone is pretty good. Um, on Android, you can download Display Link and essentially you can connect to uh, a Display Link monitor and then you will have two displays with Android. On, on this phone, um, there is or the part support for EVDI, which is essentially a module used by Display Link. And if you manage to compile Display Link for 4.9, which is the, the kernel version for this phone, um, essentially you could use it. As far as I know, the um, display link for 4.9 does not have support for Wayland, so um, you might have to tweak a little bit. Um, but potentially could work, you know. So I'll say as for now, it doesn't work. And then lastly, um, the one thing that it's not that it doesn't work, but it's slightly outdated now is fuck p-h-o-c not fosh but fuck uh fuck is essentially the compositor for this phone or for fosh um let me show you and let me do the flash as well yeah both of them as you can see fog is running at 0 0.10 um the current version right now is 0 point 12 um, it has a lot of improvements and it's a little bit faster um, and the latest fosh is 0 0.16 same with on on the stable uh, on fosh as well so this is creating a little bit of a, a problem uh, i'm sure fog will be updated soon by the droiden developers and what i mean by that is actually not a big deal but it's a little bit laggy on, on the main display. Uh, not display, but the app grid. But once you open an app, everything is pretty snappy after that. Um, so hopefully that will get fixed. Um, that's about it. On my next video, I'm gonna tell, or tell you what what is that is working. And so far, more things are working than not working. So that's pretty good. Um, this phone is coming along nice. Um, I do recommend people to use it and buy it. Um, right now, you can find this phone for roughly, um, I don't know, roughly $200 on eBay used, you know, at least a small one. The extra large might be slightly more expensive, but it's an affordable phone that uh, you can try out Linux and you can use it and it's pretty fun, you know. Um, I have a little bit, a lot of requirements before I leave my Android phone. I really want to, but there's a few things here that are getting there that I will explain on my next video, uh, what is working and, and maybe it's good enough for you so you can essentially use it as your main phone. 
Um, I hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.